Hi, this is Tim O'Connell in the Department of Natural Resource Ecology and Management at Oklahoma State University. For the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how we can calculate Shannon Diversity Index in Microsoft Excel. This process begins with organizing species data in a column in an Excel spreadsheet. So here we've got some species that uh, I found at a site in Calvert County, Maryland many years ago. And for each of these 10 species, I've got the absolute number of individuals that I found on that survey. What we want to do for Shannon Diversity Index is figure out the proportion of individuals of each species out of the total number of individuals of all the species in the community. So we'll do that this way. First thing we need to know, the total number of individuals of all species. To do that in Excel, we'll just sum in this cell here. Equals, sum, parentheses. Now we can click and drag over this entire first column. And there's our sum, 18 individuals among those 10 species. Next, we want to know the proportion of each of individuals of each species out of the total. So for that, we'll simply divide. Equals, parentheses, click on the cell at the top of the column, divide by 18. Close the parentheses and return. Now that we have that, that calculation in this cell, we can apply that same calculation to all of the remaining cells in the column by clicking the bottom right corner and dragging. It might not work exactly like that on your computer, but there'll be something similar that, that will allow you to do a sort of a fill down of a function. Next thing we need is the natural log of this number. And that again is very easy in Excel. Equals ln for the natural log function, parentheses, and then click in this cell. Now we have the natural log of the one yellow-billed cuckoo we found out of the total 18 individuals at the site. Again, we will fill down. Next, we want the product of this column and this column. For that, pretty simple function equals parentheses. Click the first cell. Asterisk is our symbol for multiplication. Click the second cell, close parens, and there we go. And again, we're filling down. Finally, what we want for h is the sum of this column. Equals sum done. We interpret diversity index, of course, we get a negative when we use the natural log, so we can just remove that uh, negative sign or make it a, call it the negative sum, but it's 2.25 is our answer. Now the question then becomes, well, what does that mean? As a unitless measure, is 2.25 good, bad, is that high diversity or low diversity? So one way to assess that is to figure out, well, what would be the maximum diversity index we could get for this group of 10 species? And to do that, we can take the same number of species, but we will just put in some dummy values and figure out, uh, you know, apply a number that would maximize evenness. It could be any number as long as they're all the same number. Well, I'm going to use 1. So now we've got one individual of all 10 species. That, of course, means that the sum here is 10. We'll go through the same process. Take the proportion of individuals, species i, divided by the total. We'll take the natural log of that column, and then we'll multiply those two columns together. Great. And now we'll take the negative sum of that column, and I can do that with a negative sign right before sum. And there we go. 
So now we've got the potential maximum uh, diversity that we could get for a site like that at 2.30. So to figure out how close our actual data are to the theoretical maximum, of course we're just going to divide. And that's a measure of what we call equitability. So it's H divided by H max. I'll make clear that this is max up there. Great. So that's pretty easy to do. We'll try this cell right here. Equals parens 2.25 divided by 2.303. And we get uh, 0.976 or 0.98. In other words, the community of organisms here is really diverse. It's close to one, with one being perfect uh, equitability, and this is just a shade shorter than that. So this is a highly diverse community, and we can see that because the abundance of individuals is pretty similar. The, uh, we go from a maximum of three for tufted titmouse down to one for yellow-billed cuckoo, hooded warbler, and scarlet tanager. But there's an even easier way to do this. It turns out that instead of having to use dummy variables, we can just calculate equitability as h divided by h max by realizing that h max is just the natural log of species richness. And just to show you how that works, our species, our species richness in this case is of course 10. And what that gives us is 2.3025 or 2.3 three zero three same as the H max that we got over here so a very quick way of figuring out of putting your diversity score into perspective is to examine its equitability and that's how you calculate diversity and look at equitability in Excel